Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today I'm gonna show you how to dual boot uh, Ubuntu and Windows. First, you need to go to the website. I'll put a link in the description. I'm just gonna download uh, the regular version, the newest. It just came out 11.04. I actually have it installed on my laptop, but I'm gonna install it on my desktop. Um, I won't be able to do like the full uh, install on here, but I have a video that I can link below that you can check out um, of me installing it. So what you want to do is let's go to the website and um, you can download it right here for free. It's totally, like I said, it's completely free. Um, you can do it three different ways, but since it's a, we're doing this video on dual booting, we're going to run it with Windows. So go ahead and download the installer. Now I've already in, downloaded this and the Ubuntu file, but just download the installer, and then you need, you're going to need to go back and download uh, Ubuntu. Just pick, figure out which one you want, you know, 32 or 64. And I would uh, recommend getting the latest version, but if you want to go back to 10.4, that's your choice. Go ahead and download that. Shouldn't take you very long, but depending on your connection, you know how it is. Once you have that installed, just run it. Then it's going to ask you where you want to install it. I'm going to install mine on my secondary drive with about 20 gigabytes. You can choose your own environmental uh, if you want to run it on a netbook or if you want uh, Kubuntu and uh, some of the other versions. I'm just going to run standard and then I will type in my username. Uh, I'm just going to put in here this and then you just press install now what it's going to do is it's going to check all your files and then it's going to create a bootloader you can see on my other video what the um, screen looks like you can actually choose between once this installs it's going to reboot the computer and then it'll install from there but I'm not going to do that because it'll shut my video off obviously um, once you in, have installed it, you can reboot again and you'll have a option for Windows up top. Windows will be your default, by default. Um, and then uh, you can use your arrow key and scroll down to Ubuntu. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple. They've uh, just created this not too long ago. And I think it was a great feature. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if you have any video requests, uh, leave it in the comments. If this video helped you out any, go ahead and like it, favorite it. It helps me out a lot. And also uh, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.